Get ready. Let's go. Blew it again, Lord Crump. Sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario is five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is, what it is this time. Tech, what was that noise? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I, unable to, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am una unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. How will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. There is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want you to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Oh, that's a trap! Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. Oh boy! Do you remember cooking from the last game? If not, let's plays in the playlists. I really should be better about cards and be like, hey, it's here somewhere. Go look for it. I really should be. We will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room when, with the green lamp lit above it. But yeah, we are going to be doing something that will require cooking something, but it's not food. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Just you wait and see. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Oh boy, I remember this. So we place the orange between the blue and green. We need to figure out where it goes where. We do, the, the red potion does not go on the far right. The blue potion has to go next to the red potion. Which, if I read this... Come on. So the orange has to go between blue and green. And this last one says two potions between green and red means the green potion goes here and the red potion goes in here and I believe if blue has to go next to red 
uh, that was, yeah, this one. If I recall correctly. Yeah, I've, I've got this right. Red, blue, orange, green. Pretty simple. They are placed very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located to the left side of the room. And this button turns it on. So I believe once it's in there, we have to please press the button when the beaker stops to dispense each potion. That's right. That's what we do. You tricky bastards. <laughs> oh, shit! Well, thankfully, we don't miss. Just watch carefully. Okay, this is the part. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Get your timers, boys! Oh, boy. Um, 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 um. Pretty sure my clock has a timer. Stopwatch. That's what I need. Uh, there we go. Tick-tock, it's the same as the cake. And if you mess it up, you don't get fucked. That's not okay. You have to do it all over again. And you're like, well, shit. Well, shit. Five, six, seven, eight. eight. That should do it. That should do it. It is a nice, thick. All right, by my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Here we go. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Oh, fine. I guess. If it's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm an adult. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disc uh, with the recorded data. Then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. Do I really have to say anything? Heh. <laughs> what? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? <laughs> but still. Do I really have to spell it out for you? And it's just like when you're sneaking out in the buff or something? Do I really have to be that coy? <sighs> anyway, we gotta do our best being invisible and whatnot. And make people like this thing really confused. This must be Grotus' room. Now, where's that disc? Hmm. That looks like a Famicom disc system. Hmm. Found it! This must be it! And this... Looks like a disc. Are we going to be playing some Japanese Mario 2? Um, oh yeah. Now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Gee, 
It's even got the freaking startup. I did it. Yes! I did it. It's working. I didn't even think anything of this when I first saw it. <laughs> it's a freaking Famicom. <laughs> Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There. Like I was never here. Now we gotta sneak away. Sneak away. Can I have that Famicom, please? That'd be great. That'd be great. But yeah, remember to put your dress back on before you, you know, get the transparency worn off. Uh, that would jack up the age reading real fast. <laughs> ah. oh. Wow. And that dude's like, what? Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. I'll teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. It will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Yeah, keep the age rating at E, if you please. Also, it wouldn't be good for YouTube. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? Yeah, let's do... What a relief. I was kind of worried I might never become visible again. There's never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. There you go. Safe and sound. Maybe. I was going to say, where are the guards? But thank goodness it's instant. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator, if you wish. Okay. You'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator, thanks. Check on my email! Check, check on my email! written my message. Would you send it? There we go. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach. I will protect you. Does that voice sound enough like a computer yet? Hope so. <laughs> oh. Oh, this scene. <laughs> what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Oh, man. Pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam, got it, I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal star in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. But, 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 <laughs> The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. Yo there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? What? Somebody there. Hey, what's with the big idea, turtle boy? 
You looking for the Crystal Stars too? Sweet, this will help the Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. What am I afraid of? You? Ba, 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 If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report. Ba, 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 Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Dare scoff at us, Koopa Clan! Form up! Whoa, well played! Me! <laughs> so, what's it gonna be, tough guy? Buh -huh. Oh, I gotta laugh! This is why I keep one of these around! Sorry, suckers! Eat this, turtle dorks! Super Bomb! -omb! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Bowser, you goddamn idiot! That wasn't a good idea. <coughs> you, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody! Oh, I can't wait to get back home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real! Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it. Then, am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario! Uh, Mario? We're going to stay here. Been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think we can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? They're gonna do all right here, I think, yeah? Let's break out, Mario. Ready, amigos? Cast off! Let the Spanish fly! And by the way, we use the Black Skull to just go back and forth between uh, the island anytime we like. Hell yeah. Mount Hain, dang her. And thus, our adventure came to an exciting end, ah? Uh? The ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes. Even now, I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing is upon you. Flavio. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, Sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, ah? Huh? But of course, you all know that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. W what? Hey, where are... Y you're all leaving me already? Ah, uh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, ah? 
One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Key Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow. Comprende? Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. And please excuse me real quick. Wahoo! Colon suck. Ahem! Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, ah? Okay, Gonzales, that's our cue. Let's break out of here and head for the door. Alright, I was just checking my time real quick. Oh, email time. Gonzales, that's you, bud. That's gotta be an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it. And strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow! We ought to get to work, too! Exactly. Oh, by the way, Luigi's here, too. But first things first... Let's finally use this boat panel here. It has been, well, in terms of in-game hours, it's been almost 20 goddamn hours. And now we can finally get over here and see what the hubbub is. Well, for one, it's a hidden star piece. And for two, it's a treasure chest. The HP drain. Yeah, it'll reduce your attack power, but you can get one hit point back per hit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a good badge. Because uh, power drops are is, for the amount of healing you're getting is insufficient. It's just not quite worth it. Anyhow, we gotta see what Luigi's up to. We gotta see what this man's been doing. Hey, bro. Lay it on me. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Chazafras Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Whoo! It was pretty knocky, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of the story are you ready for? Let's do the Chazafras Town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit the Jazafras town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a pretty really lively place, bro. Tons of daisies lives there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. I hate when this happens, god damn it! He said that the so-called uh, Drama Llama plaque might be in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage! Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I can't really host the role. My role, my part, was grass! I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass! I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got this compass part like I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. A huge after party just bummed me out, so I just stuck out the back door. Uh, wow! Outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine! 
cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the Marvel's compass, which pointed north. I pointed to the rapturous ruins in Greenville Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. Oh, <coughs> Jesus, those Luigi voices. I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor. One of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle. Of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> Luigi roasted. Absolutely on fire. Now you! Yes! 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 We got it! The W emblem! Finally. I'm just gonna get this jam and jelly for kicks. No. I'm good, man. I'm so good. It took a moment to load because my colors have changed. I am now Wario. Okay, who's buzzing? Oh, it's RDM issue four. Jesus, Goombas can get low, man. He just wants the flowers and whatnot. Oh yeah, he's one of the guys over on the west side. <laughs> Oh god, double points? Uh, no thanks. You get a turtle leaf and a horse tail and you're done. And that's everything. Now, if I recall, yes. It costs 64 coins? Oh my god, I'm one short. Damn it. I said, sell the spite pouch already. God, my fingers don't work. All right. I'm going to get this Super Luigi. It's a key item. Let's just show it off. Yep. It's all of his travels. Oh, dear God. So if you ever want to look at the entire... Uh, Super Luigi catalog, then this is for you. Coconut! The whack a can go too. I think maybe in between recording sessions, I'm gonna be cooking up some disasters. But yes, I am now finally Wario! God, I haven't probably done that voice since Wario World! At this point, I should probably do the Wario Land games. Though I only own three, so that makes it weird. All these badges suck. I'm a bail on your ass. But I think that's actually going to be about it in the meantime. So, oh, wait a minute. Let's go power up Bobbery. Then this is over. Because we're going to... Oh, whoop. Oh, actually, we're going to wait on that because... Uh, Merlin has something to tell us, and we're going to start that on the next episode. So, on today's episode of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we got, once again, Peach is doing some snooping. Bowser's a goddamn idiot. And, well, Luigi, his ass was grass. So, on the next episode, we're going to be doing some more troubles, and we'll see what Merlin wants. Ugh. Excuse me. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.